Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now we are moving into the fourth example This has the infinite number of states Suppose the state space, let me draw the state transition diagram, state 0, 1, 2 and so on. The left hand side it has the states minus 1, minus 2 and so on. So, the state space of this Markov chain has a countably infinite number of elements with the state 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 and so on. Let me draw give the transition rates, transition probabilities. So, the system is moving from state 0 to 1 with the probability p and the system is moving from the state 0 to minus 1 with the probability 1 minus p. Therefore, if you see the state transition diagram state uh, one step transition probability matrix the row sum is going to be 1. So, you keep uh, p is lies between p can lies between 0 to 1. Similarly, you go for the all other states. The system is moving from the state to the forward one state that is with the probability p backward state with the probability 1 minus p. with the forward is p and uh, coming back to the one step less one state less that is 1 minus p. So, this is a way it goes for all the states 1 minus p and this is 1 p and you have a countably infinite number of states. Okay. Now, let me go for the case 1 in which the p is going to be 0. Suppose p takes a value 0, what happens or how to classify the states when p is equal to 0 in this time homogeneous discrete time Markov chain. When p is equal to 0, there is no forward arc. When p is equal to 0 implies the system is always go to the one st state one step less one state less with the probability 1 because p equal to 0. Therefore, you should be able to visualize what is a state transition diagram corresponding to p is equal to 0 there is no forward arc arrows. That means, whenever the system start from some state it will keep on going to the one state less in every step and you can visualize for a longer run where the system will be whether it will be in the positive side or in the negative side you can visualize whenever the system start from any finite state over the period it may be in some state with the some positive probability for the finite number of steps for a infinite number of steps or for a longer run the system will be in the negative side for a longer run. So, that is a limiting distribution, but here we are discussing the classification of the states. Therefore, with the probability 0 it would not be back at all. If the system start from any state it would not be back to the same state with the probability 0. Therefore, all the states are going to be all the states are going to be the transient states. you calculate uh, f for you take any finite state 1 or something then f 1 1 of 1 f 1 1 of 2 and so on if you calculate then you may land up by f 1 1 capital 1 that is going to be always less than 1. Therefore, if you start with the one state you can conclude it is a transient state and all other states also are of the same way therefore, all the states are going to be same. Suppose uh, we discuss the case 2 with the p equal to 1 what happen? If p equal to 1 
then you have all the forward aux not the backward aux. That means uh, whenever the system start from any state then the system will go to the forward all the states in subsequent steps with the probability 1. In the longer run the system will be in the positive side, positive infinite side in a longer run therefore with the with the probability 0 it, it, it will be in any one of the finite states in a longer run whereas uh, for the any finite steps the system will be in some of the states and it will be keep moving forward state over the number of steps. Therefore, here also you will end up all the states are going to be transient states. The both the two cases the situation for the limiting distribution may change one is in the left side the other one is in the right side whereas uh, all the states are going to be the transient states. But our interest is for the p is lies between that is our third case our interest is uh, p lies between 0 to 1 open interval that means uh, if you see the previous uh, state transition diagram you have uh, both the forward aux as well as the backward aux because the probability p is lies between open interval 0 to 1 therefore the 1 minus p is also lies between 0 to 1 in the open interval therefore whenever the system start from any state it will come back to the same state with the even number of steps suppose you visualize with the state 1 it can come back to the same state 1 not in the odd number of steps but in the even number of steps suppose if the system moves to the state 0 in the first step and in the second step it can come back to the state 1. Similarly suppose the system would have moved from 1 to 2 then in the second step it would have come to the state 1 the, therefore it is a two steps it can come back either via going to the state 0 or going to the state 2. Suppose you go for uh, think of a four, st four steps it coming back to the same state that is possible need not be the first visit means uh, it can make a two times loop in the left side or it can make a two times a loop in the right hand side or it can make a one step forward and one more step forward then it can come back. Therefore, all the possible steps uh, if you include all the possible steps you will come to the conclusion it will take a even number of steps to come back to the same state. So, if you do the simple exercise uh, what we have done it in the earlier case you can come to the conclusion 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 and so on all the states are going to be a recurrent state. without fixing the value p you can conclude f i i capital f i i is going to be 1 for all the, the states. Therefore, now we come to the conclusion all the states are going to be the recurrent state. If you try to find out the periodicity for any state the way I discussed the greatest common divisor of uh, coming the greatest common divisor of uh, n such that uh, the p i i of n which is going to be greater than 0 and this is possible for all the even number of steps therefore, the system will be come back to the same state 2 steps 4 steps 6 steps and so on therefore, the g c d is going to be 2 for this uh, particular Markov chain. So, uh, the period is going to be 2 and the recurrent state. Now, our interest is uh, whether these states are going to be a positive recurrent or null recurrent. But for that you need uh, what is the value of p because without p without the value of p you cannot come to the conclusion the mu suffix i i <coughs> that is going to be n times f i i of n you need the value 
but some example it is not it is possible but still by supplying the value of p or what is the range in which you can conclude whether this is going to be a finite quantity or going to be infinite quantity based on the range of p you can conclude these recurrent states are going to be a positive recurrent or null recurrent. Since the state space is going to be 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 and so on and all the states are going to be a recurrent states it will form a one closed communicating class both are communicate all the states are communicating with each other therefore you will end up having a only one closed communicating class which is same as the state space therefore this is going to be a irreducible Marco chain. These states may be a positive recurrent or null recurrent based on the range of a p, but here we are just concluding this is going to be a irreducible Markov chain with uh, all the states are going to be a recurrent with the period 2. So, since the period is 2 it would not be a ergodic states also. If you want a ergodic state you, you need a positive recurrent as well as the aperiodic since the period is 2 we can conclude this is not going to be the ergodic state.